Hi, my name is Dawn Schuler, AKA Mama Shu, and we're the Schuler family. And this is Straight Up with the Schulers, Family to Family, where we talk about real life issues and how to deal with them as a family, speaking the truth in love. Welcome to the family. Okay, so let's get to it. As you can see, we are just finishing up eating dinner and eating dinner together. Did I say together? Oh my God. You know, so many families today don't eat dinner together. And we are one of them. We used to eat dinner together all of the time when the kids were younger and, and they were growing up. But today in society, families don't eat dinner together. Or if they do, it's maybe one or two times out of, the, out of the week, which is fine because at least you're sitting down together. But are you really sitting down together? Are the cell phones on? Are you talking to each other? Or are you texting and you're eating and no one's communicating? So today we're going to talk about that. Can families get back to at least eating together as a family a couple nights out of the week and actually talk to each, each other? I remember when I was a little girl and um, we would, it was six of us, and we would uh, be outside playing. And at a certain time, in the evening, like six, seven o'clock, we would hear all the mothers come to the door and say, call all of our names, come on, it's time to eat dinner. And we all ran in and we all ate dinner together. And then after dinner was over, we went back outside and started playing together. Wow, what a beautiful time when I think about that uh, back, back then to what's happening now. And so we just want to talk about how we can take away all the things that would stop a family from stopping everything and eating dinner together. And again, I know some of you may have young, younger children, which is great because it's a great time to start, you know, implementing that and making sure that at least a couple nights out of the week you're eating dinner. I know a lot of us, you do sports, whether it's baseball, this is baseball and football and all the cheer and all these things that we do in our children's and activity they are in, involved in. But we as, as parents, we must spend time together at the table. And you know, when you look at the old movies or even, um, I like this really telling my age now, like leave it the beaver. <laughs> so, <laughs> they laughing at me. Where you know, they sit and they have dinner and they talk about things that's going on, you know? Back to the kid, if you wanna know what's going on, then you gotta sit down with them and what better place than to sit down at the table and ask, well, how did your day go, Diamond? What did you learn in school? Or did something happen that was, you know, all of these particular things. So I just think that it's so important. I learned a lot of things from my children at the dinner table. I learned that there are phases in children's lives when they're growing up that they feel that the parents are just stupid. They know nothing. And the only person that knows something is the teacher. I don't know how many of you parents have experienced <laughs> that, but That's my kids, my but my teacher said this, and my teacher no, said that. And I'm like, right. look, I'll tell you this is how, you know, they don't listen to us at one point because all they listen to is their teachers, which is fine. Teachers should be e examples, but I'm just saying, I kind of dealt with that at our dinner table, talking <laughs> about things that the teacher was always right. The parent just wasn't. So I just want to open up the, the table and and just, you know, ask, what do you guys think that when you raise your children, when you get married and DJ's getting married soon and, you know, what are you going to do with your family? Like what, what kind of, um, what, what kind of, what's the word I'm, I'm looking for? Uh, uh. Unity? Yeah, no, yeah. What, what kind it's of kind things that you structure, structure, structure thank you, that you want to sit for your family that this is what's going to happen? Um, I think... Everybody's gonna be dressed at the dinner table. Oh, you know, oh, oh we know. everybody! Oh, everybody oh, is gonna wear. Hold, hold, hold. The question was to me. Oh, yes, go ahead. Relax, relax. I got the floor. All right. Oh my God. Everybody <laughs> will be in bow ties, especially <laughs> so at least on like Sunday dinner. Where's Tiffany? Everybody who knows me, 
You know, we do the bow ties. <laughs> Where is he from? Uh, besides <laughs> that, oh you know, the kids are going to see mom and dad, you know, in the kitchen together, you know, just enjoying themselves and, and cooking. And, you know, everybody's going to p- be able to pitch in. And I feel like as long as you monitor and, and just show them what true love is all about, regardless of like if you had a long day at work, dad will come in, maybe dad will bring the groceries and you already have the food going on the stove. Just really, I don't know, just showing unity and making sure they see like no matter how busy our schedules are, we always take time to be together and eat because sharing a meal and breaking bread is so, so important. Mm-hmm. So that's what mm-hmm. I'm going to do, including the bow ties because that's a must. <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll be coming in sweatpants. Great idea. My family. Oh my god. Good diving. Well, I think it's really important for people to realize that it's not so much about um, like a set time every night that you have dinner because I think that like you touched on earlier, like all of us had very different schedules, you know, between the boys coming home, being on the after school bus and not getting home until 6.30 or if the bus was running late, they got back later and I think that it's important for families to know like work around each other's schedules so maybe Monday nights you have dinner at 6 o'clock but then on Thursdays you might have a late dinner and not till 8 o'clock but you know working around everyone's schedules or even eating on the go but as a family sitting down if you have to go to Chick-fil-A go inside Chick-fil-A instead of eating your car like sit at the table talk to your kids and I mean I think that that's something I really want to get to know my kids at the dinner table. Um, One of my friends, I used to eat dinner over their house all the time and something they did at the dinner table, even though she hated it, but I thought it was like the coolest thing. I was like, oh, this is great. But to like, (laughs) they um, used to do like, tell me like you're high and low for the day. Mm -hmm. And like, I've seen that in a lot of different situations, but at the dinner table, I think that that was really cool because it was like your experience to say like, okay, well, this was a really rough part of my day, but then it was great at this point. And then you can kind of talk about both sides of it, like why it was so great or why it was so bad and like what you can do to fix that. And it also mm-hmm. gives like the parents a window into what the kids' day looked like. It mm-hmm. gives them their high points and their low points. Right. So I know that's something I really want to do with my kids. And, you know, that's, that's good. just be close to them. That's a good idea. How about you, Matt? Yeah, you guys are all really cute. <laughs> <laughs> really cute. I don't know. I I kind of see it. Don't call me like a pessimist, but I kind of see it differently. Like, I don't know if it's super easy to always get everyone together mm-hmm. for dinner. You mm-hmm. know, I think even like, um, and I think it depends on your career as well. I mean, I know like for my career, I'm gonna be traveling a lot, so like I'm probably not gonna be able to be home <clears throat> all the time for dinner. But I think it's it's like the reason why I think families get together at the dinner table mm-hmm. so you can keep tabs on each other you know make sure you that's know what's going it. on yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. in everyone's life because that's you know that's what happens at the dinner table there's yeah. discussion that's made I think like I'm gonna try like make more of an emphasis on that like to keep a tabs on my children keep tabs on my wife make mm-hmm. sure she's good my mm-hmm. kids are good mm-hmm. like even even if I can't be at the dinner table mm-hmm. right um but like I don't know, I want to, like, be able to FaceTime with them, like, just have, like, a certain, like, stru- structural, like, set time where I'm, like, able to, like, yo, how is school going, yo? Like, mm-hmm. what, what, you know, the sports that they're playing or whatever, like, or if they have any questions, like, I want to be really intentional <coughs> with, like, you know, just my relationships with my family to make sure, like, you know, to supplement things. I mean, yeah, I think it's awesome, like, if you have time, you know, to be able to sit at the table, and I pray, you know, there will be, like, there will be times when I'm on tour and times when I'm, you know, home. Mm-hmm. Um, like when I'm home, it's gonna be crazy. No bow ties for for my kids. Like, oh, well, that's, that's, that's your fault. That's your fault. Like that's face not paint, fault. dreads and stuff. Okay. Just, yeah, it would be great oh. though. And I would. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it would be free range. But but yeah, I want um you know I want to like be in the kitchen cooking even with my wife. You know, mm, and that's then um, nice. mm-hmm. and I think like like just being there like help, helping out I think is great like you want to spend the most amount of time with, with you know the people in your home as, as possible I think like making sure that you know when you are there to I don't know, help out like I'll probably do the dishes like whatever mm-hmm. like do, mm-hmm. doing dishes yeah, like do it's, it's fine with me yeah. like cause we were raised like if the house wasn't clean and we didn't do the dishes mm-hmm. when we got home, mm-hmm. we would just But he it. never we does the dishes. Like, I'm yes, always doing bro, the dishes. Listen, but bro. that's the crazy thing. Since I've been on my so own, let's talk okay, about that. I do the dishes all the time. And I actually like it now because I feel okay. it's nice well, to I just, walk I just want the clarity. Because your boy over here. No pointing at the table. No point. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I understand what mom was saying. Okay. How she felt all those years coming right. home, you know, to a dirty kitchen. It's not nice. Yes. So I do the dishes. So it took him 24 years. That's showing me. I mean, aside from what are you saying you do the I just wanted to touch on another thing. I think it's really important for people to make sure that dinner is like a fun experience. Like mm-hmm. I know for me, I hate being forced to do anything. Tell me to do something like I'm probably gonna have like the worst attitude ever and like 
yeah. everyone's going to be miserable <laughs> around me. Like, I'm going to make it unpleasant. So I think that you need to make sure, like, you're having fun at the dinner table. As parents, I think that it's important for you guys to engage the conversation as well. If you're just sitting there eating your food or, like, staring at your plate and then your kids are staring at you, like, you know, you as adults, I feel like sometimes have to, like pick it up and again with younger kids like they're gonna talk your ear off regardless so like it's just important for the parent to kind of you know be interested in what your kid's saying like okay like they had a rough time on the playground like yeah. you know be interested that's a big <laughs> right. deal to them yeah. you know what I mean like that's serious really that's very sure you're like wow you, know, you really is uh-huh. that what, like really hype them up because that's important and I think that like parents you know as kids your world is very small it's very limited so the parents need to realize like it's a big deal to them because that's all all their world is you know you can see things in a bigger scope but for kids you know they got maybe five years old you got a five-year-old scope you know everything is very small to you everything is very you know school home family like that's really all you know as a kid so you know hype them up make them feel like what they're going through is important i think is really coming from someone who works in child care every yes now and then. i love my babies <laughs> i love my babies how about you honey well, I think the experience has been such that we've had so many different occasions because mm-hmm. I've had to travel a bunch, and, uh, but I've made sure that when I'm home that we're all sitting at the table eating together. Yes, yes. Uh, some wouldn't eat all their vegetables. Yes, that's oh, definitely me. I didn't eat vegetables until like last year. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some yeah. would eat it all their food and, and, and want that. more, and that would be yes. DJ. And you look like you wanted and more. Some would yeah. eat half the plate <laughs> and, and accidentally touch your stomach, and it all come uh, up. Uh, uh, so uh, it was such that a. That was when I was a baby. Yeah. It kind of went. Yeah, only if I get really excited. And you got really excited. <laughs> because then it was my, usually yeah, very funny. Yeah, it was I always was something just, funny going on. Yeah, it was yeah. always something funny. So yeah. it, it's you know, it was really uh, dinner was such a it was a show. Yeah. Dinner was a show. Yes. And it was everybody had a performance. It still is. And mm. everybody had a role to play and and whatever they decided they were going to do, they did. And my wife and I were there, the commentators. We were giving true color commentary on what was going on. <laughs> It is so true. I mean, it's so many things, you know, it's again, family. I, I just, I love my family and um, anything that we can do together and, and we can make it happen, we do it. And so I would say to all of you who are watching today that, you know, no, per, no family's perfect, you know, and what we're talking about is, 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 is not something that we have perfected. It's just something that we try to do and uh, we didn't always get it right, you know, but you still try. And if you can even just just say that you just want to at least, you know, two nights out of the week, no matter what's going on, that you take the time to sit down and break bread together with your children. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Straight Up with the Schulers, Family to Family. Again, we're not saying this works for everyone, but hey, this works for us. We aren't perfect. In fact, we are a little crazy, but we're a family. So whoever you are, wherever you are, and whatever you do, remember, we're all here on purpose. God bless.